Welcome aboard KC Streetcar. Hi, I'm Mayor Quint Lucas, and welcome to Storytelling on the Streetcar. Together, we gather to celebrate Kansas City's diverse black culture. May you be energized by our many performances that celebrate the vitality, the vibrancy, and the energy of Kansas City's black culture and our community. Enjoy. Next stop, Crossroads. I am black history. You are black history. I am black history. You are black history. I am black history. You are black history and black history can be seen in everything. Black history is everything from my book to the way that I lay my baby hair from Glenn North to Ida Macbeth. Black history is Kansas City. Black history is a monarch flying and soaring and gliding throughout the city. Black history can be seen in a zoot suit from a hundred years ago on 18th and Vine. I am black history, a descendant, a yesterday and a tomorrow. I am my ancestors' wildest dreams and some people's worst nightmare. It's historical for them to be scared. It's also historical for them to be hopeful. Black history is hope. Black history is love. Black history is rich. Black history is content and not being content with just what we've been given. Hello, my name is Justice Horn and I'm happy to be here celebrating black history and black culture here at the Casey Streetcar. So what Black History Month means to me is an opportunity not only to recognize the shoulders of the greats we stand on, but to continue to pass on and, and continue to do the work that they were willing to die for. I think it's an opportunity to not only be proud of our blackness and our history, but to also realize that we are very behind as a community and to continue that fight and to continue to march in the streets, push for policy change, and push for a community that's truly equitable for everyone. What Black History Month means to me is world history uh, or American history. Uh, is a collective of everything from, you know, basically back from, let's say, the 1800s till now, though, just the impact of what black people did and brought to uh, the uh, America, you know. So really, I don't know about Black History Month. I think it's Black History Month or day, every day for me. Black History Month is really just the pinnacle of what I consider a year-round celebration of black culture, um, you know, stemming from uh, in the, from the motherland, to, from Africa, uh, all around the world in different countries, but ultimately here uh, in the United States, but also in Kansas City, one of the meccas of black culture when it comes to jazz and baseball and championship and the Kansas City spirit, which is really just a uh, kind of the black spirit coming together to create culture and, um, you know, and the density that we see as cities today. I think all of our cities are um, these great celebrations of culture um, and some of those things aren't really celebrations. Some of those are just day-to-day -day life uh, things that we do uh, as a people that um, we had to do to overcome some of the some of the obstacles that were put in front of us uh, to the benefit of the rest of us and those things are music, uh, those things are uh, fashion, culture, uh, poetry, dance, all of that. Storytelling is such an important part of not only uh, urban life but also um, just human nature when we tell our stories and continue to tell them, uh, new generations uh, understand what we should do and what we shouldn't do, um, understand that what's important and what's not important. Uh, I think that if we don't find different ways to continue to tell our stories, especially in an era where we have unlimited ways to tell our stories, then we do our, our future, our past, and our present a disservice. Next stop, Kaufman Center. Yo, what's up, everybody out there? Oh, that's whack. Uh, <laughs> hello, greetings. Uh, Good morning. Greetings. Salutations. Yo, what's up, everyone? We are here with the Kansas City Streetcar celebrating black culture. We go about New Black City featuring Kadesh Flow. We got some music for y'all. Yeah. This song is called The Medley. Yeah. Jay, here you go. Sunshine, you riding up the hood. 
You know I love that sunshine. It got me feeling good. Say you bring out the Just sunshine. The rain, the violets, you bring it up the You know I love that sunshine. Got me feeling good. Say bring out the uh, summertime fire, salt all on your margarita. Makes me happy just to see you in love with your features. You can be the whole song and I'll be the feature. I bet your fans pass out whenever they meet ya. Tell your ex he's a mess, how could he not keep ya? Beautiful when that sun dress you a sunset, fighting like stars for you. I wore, I got the force yet. Whatever you wore, it's more than that girl, you gorgeous. Beauty like you when you swim, I'm snorkeling. Deep sea diving, you win. I forfeit whatever you in, I'm with. I swore it, your body is an ocean. I just wanna be ashore all upon you. When the sun rises in the morning, I want you. The summer is ours, baby. We gon' shine our on them. We can do shopping sprees only at them outside malls if you want to, baby. You are sunshine. Yeah, he brighten up the hood. You brighten up the hood. You know I love that sunshine. Girl, you know I love that sunshine. It got me feeling good. Yeah. It got me feeling good. So you bring out the sunshine. Roses are red, the violets are blue. Honey, oh honey, what did you, you know do? I love that roses sunshine. Roses are red, violets are blue. Honey, good. oh honey, what did so you, you do? So you bring out the sunshine. You ain't ever got to want for nothing on my life. Come and give your mama some loving, dark skin, brown eyes. I'm with a who I saw or what club I went to with my homies, baby. Don't worry, you know that you got me. If you were worried about where I'm with a who I saw or what club I went to with my homies, baby. Don't worry, you know that you got me. If you were worried about where I'm with a who I saw or what club I went to with my homies, baby, don't worry, you know that you got me. If you were worried about where I went or who I saw or what club I went to with my homies, baby, don't worry, you know that you got me. Yeah. Please hold on when the streetcar is in motion. Well, considering the given predicament, I present this Black Lives Matter sign as a present sent to be opened in silence. Listen, Sankofa eyelids allows us to live with color in mind, united. Wisdom as our guide reminds us our job as a people is defined in acts of kindness and in how we're reviving dying conversations. Think of applications when places ask what one's race is she or he could mark other. Ideally, the hue of the applicant applies less to the levels of melanin pigment and more toward the kind of person by which one wishes to be depicted. The hint is the kind of man. The tint is the hue. Man is meant to mix and blend with hues of men, regardless our skin. We didn't pick it. It's no picnic, we know. The politics and picket sign binds blind mankind to future contracts we both co-sign. We're buying the whole gold mine outlined in light where white whisk all colors to illuminate the night, helping us to see tangible pieces of peace. Gently open your eyelids and believe with deeper belief. The Black Lives Matter sign had to happen. My dear applicants, black represents all colors combined as one when it comes to pigments, comprehend that. I'm not vying to rain on your parade or your protest. Have we noticed? The after effects of rain brings a rainbow. See the pots of gold through our soul's window. Pain and hate, they have to go, leaving love of laughter to be mastered, celebrating together true life treasures before, forever and after, always. Black Lives Matter. 
I think it's absolutely important for us to have conversations about black history and black culture because at the bare minimum we need to be having conversations. I think with conversations and coalition building that produces action and what we need for our community for us to truly have an equitable community is action where everyone in our community is making the problems their problems and that's how we can truly have a community that's safe for everyone. We're at a critical moment in our country, in our community, around equity and giving those voices a platform to elevate other people to provoke transformative action. And we see just recently with the catalyst of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor that a lot of what we have seen in America 400 years ago is still an issue and a problem here in America today. And so for the next generation, we want to continue to push forward equity, civil rights, to have a better America for the future to come. The conversations that we have during Black History Month celebrating black culture and achievements are really inspirational. And that's why this is such an important time because that inspiration spurs us into action and it inspires us to do amazing things today. It inspires us to act and to do and to collaborate and create. Um, every time that we're learning something that inspires us, it's a good thing. And especially when we're being inspired to either pass this knowledge along or to act on it, those are all things that we can do to come together as a community. This is the streetcar to River Market. Black on black crime is an urban legend. It is creative and crafted media propaganda promoted problematic and paid for. It is fetishized. It is a scary oasis of primetime sensationalism for hallucinogenic people. It is not all inclusive. They don't call suicide black on black crime. Don't call the black cop who was killed by the black boy black on black crime. Guess he's blue. Guess his badge makes him not black, makes him not matter. They don't call domestic violence black on black crime. Don't call rape or molestation black on black crime. Guess we're too sexual, even when we're not, even when we don't want it, even when we say no. Black on black crime is blood soaked ground imagery. Is brothers need to keep themselves because they no more keepers. Is expecting sisters to keep keeping brothers and secrets and kids. Is an open door to photepisms. Is conscious as of yesterday. It's just all these single mothers reasoning. Is an ableist mentality. Is a backwards excuse for Cain. Is quick draw McGraw in blackface but isn't celebrated like cowboys and Indians. Is the Ursula of Disney rather than Hans Christian Andersen? Is overly dramatized, malevolent, whacked out, and wild? Is watching monsters have a ball all while losing Isaiah? Is awarded and critically acclaimed? Is watching the nightly news as if it's National Geographic? is the biased study of all the causes and never the environment, is a racist narrative, a trope, because the black boy who killed the other black boy didn't do so because he was black or because he saw his reflection, didn't kill her because of melanin but because of lack, greed, jealousy, infidelity, sin, or any of the other conditions that human races have. Black on black crime is death by four words. It is condemnation, vilification, victimization, and damnation to our people. It is watching my people perish due to the lack of this knowledge. Black on black crime is not law. It's not what we do. It's not culture. It's not science. It's not us. Black on black crime is bondage. And at the quake of this realization, my dungeon shook and my chains, my chains finally fell off. Next stop, Metro Center. Are we still rolling? Yeah. This song is called Accolades. 
It's about perseverance. Think I'm strong now, but look way back. Try to move you people, didn't play that. I show love anytime you need support, but you give me props to my face. Laugh at me for sport. I don't know what to say when they're around me. Try to be brave, but that confounds me. I just feel afraid and I'm down, see. You all got that praise early, I've received that doubt. These people act like so fake to my face, they be smiling. Least I got my shoulders who don't play, they about these. Wins and no way, accolades never found me. To that one day that I saved everybody. Everybody wasn't there to witness. Yeah. What I had to do to rescue victims. You too busy focusing on hoppers in my lips getting. Yeah. I don't need my neighbors at your mentions. I just think it's funny how I get your recognition now. You too busy trying to be tradition now. Acting like if I was not a witness, all of my chances to be great have no existence. I guess I gotta go with her. For it, since you got it easy, you just consider the work. For it, understand if this is mine, I was destined for birth. For it, I just had to sweat and get my hands up in the dirt. For it, you too busy focus on what you think you deserve. You're in knowing you're the destined. Yeah. That doesn't mean that I'm just expecting. That just means that until I have it, there is no resting. I am so invested. I will never stop even once I become the best. This is my time. This is why I eat, sleep, and dream, eh. I'ma do it, doesn't matter what you think, eh. Anything is possible if you believe me, eh. yeah. This ain't just a dream, eh. This is what I eat, sleep, and breathe, eh. I'ma do it, doesn't matter what you think, eh. Anything is possible if you believe me, eh. If you believe me, yeah, this ain't just a dream. Yeah, yeah. La. Think I'm strong now, but look way back. Try to move you people, didn't play that. I show love anytime you need support, but you give me props to my face and laugh at me for sport. I don't know what to say when they're around me. Try to be brave, but that confounds me. I just feel afraid and I'm down. See, you all got that praise early. I've received that doubt. These people act like so fake to my face. They be smiling. At least I got my shoulders who don't play. They about. One day that I saved everybody, yeah. Next stop, North Loop. Will you ride with me? Or rose a whisper into the window awakens to chasten the query. While chasing the quarry, the distance traveled not by miles, but in minutes. This momentum lessens the limits for siblings living in infinite centuries. July the 16th, Elizabeth Jennings, organist, teacher, worship leader, is one score and four years running on her way to Sunday service for God's sake. In this minute, Miss Jennings by faith breaks the color barrier. She Rosa parks herself on the streetcar next to nascent words whispered into the window, in the fifth row, on the metro, Montgomery. Will you ride with me? This quote grows hope evergreen and persistence climbs high like ivy's flowers tower, ivory towers with one goal, courage to drive initiative. She is time. Her arrival is destined to revive this whisper, cause time writes wrongs with an editing pencil. 
Thus time writes songs and poems and performs symphonic similes similar to tunes of jazz and two-tone blues and sentimental, colorful, classical, autobiographical, synchronous words whispered into the window. This time is 16-year-old Maya Angelou, a conductor for the On the Ground Railroad, San Francisco Streetcar. Yes, Dr. Angelo said it best. Still, like dust, I'll rise, bringing the gifts ancestors gave before 400 years ago, much more than a slave we are, before the ocean brought boats to the coast, Côte d'Ivoire, before the land bought folk stole the who we are, before windows, before whispers, before words, before gibberish. Quit limiting black history to four centuries. Start whispering into the window. Ignorance is temporal. Wisdom is infinity. Infinity is invisible. Will, you ride with me. Never a question, it is essence, introspection, expecting the will to ride. Alongside, Mrs. Parks was correct when she sat in that moment was the exact spot she was supposed to be sitting at. Will, you ride with me. Miss Jennings winning from the beginning stood tall on the backs of ancestral siblings who came before her. Now it is Lizzie who understands tall, for she is our earth on whom we stand tall. Will, you ride with me. Dr. Maya believed as she shined. Light on those night roads in spite of black codes coached by Jim Crow when folks' goal was to hurt her an absurdity. We are talking about phenomenal women who walk into a room just as cool as you please. On their command, the fellows stand or fall down on their knees because the will of these queens is a hive of honeybees. It is written in a poem called Phenomenal Woman, literally a literary will. You ride with me. I feel a great uh, hope when it comes to our future. I think Kansas City has all the tools and the resources to continue to make our community better. I think in order to continue to move forward, we need all Kansas Cityans to use the opportunity, to use the individuals, to use our leaders, to use our resources that we already have and link arms and intentionally seek other people to make that change that we know Kansas City can be for tomorrow, for the next day, for the next day, for next year, for three years, for five years, for 10 years, and another 100 years. My hopes for change are this continuation of um, the next generation being inspired. You know, that's one of the reasons why I feel like I was placed on this earth is to, you know, pass the torch uh, that my ancestors and my people gave to me so that the future generations have a, a clear understanding of where they should go and what, and what they should do to also give back um, to their next generation. When I moved to Kansas City over a decade ago, um, the most exciting thing to me was that Kansas City was still writing its story. It was still discovering and determining you know, who we were going to be as a city. And that's a really exciting thing. And I think right now, um, we have opportunities to write that history and to play a very important role in the future of who we are as a city. Because we know you're good people, when you give us our reparations, can you give us more than 40 acres and one unbreedable animal? Give us the men who work the land. Give back the time spent locked away from family and children. Resurrect the lives stolen. Will you replace the china, the dining room table, the old porcelain dolls, the art and artifacts, Will you reconstitute our dried lineage? They are the ones from when we had to flee with just the clothes on our backs. We wrestled water bodies and pretzeled our lungs as the current decapitated tribal wisdom. It ripped the family tree from limb to limb, carrying the knowledge of our ancestors downstream. Our lost heritage washed up on the shores can you send out search parties and rescue and restore? 
Will you give us our hip hop back? Will you give the credits due? Can we at least own that? Our rhythms, the natural boom to bap in our backs that you replaced with crack, 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 crack the whip, crack the dome, crack rocks, made crack spots, stepped on crack, broke many mothers' backs, had them raising their children's children. Will you unmother our grandmothers? Can they just be grand? Can they rest as a place of reverence, a protected species instead of a necessary extension? Will you return our women, unrape, unmaim, and unslain our women, restore virtue and respect, if you could please also. Replace the hot and tot with your body parts. She's been working far too long. And after we receive all these things, can you resist the urge to torch our successes? Can you not burn us down like Black Wall Street, our increase rubbled at our feet? If you could please repay, refund, recompense, reimburse, remunerate, I dare not say reparate. Then after that, just leave us be. It would put an end to unrest spanning centuries. I think what public transportation has to do with uh, racial equity and social justice is it's a vital and absolutely important part of a community that's truly equitable to everyone. It is a pillar of a community that we truly want to see be equitable for everyone. I think when we talk about transportation and the access to it, there are a lot of people who depend on that. It's the same as a public resource, as a library, as public safety, or even as having uh, housing, I mean, it's, it's a resource for our community, and ultimately when it's accessible for everyone, that makes all of our lives better. Public transit is where equity starts. Growing up, catching the bus all the time, you see different people. You see people doing all types of different things. That's what it's all about. Riding the streetcar today, riding the bus, you get to see so much of Kansas City. You get to see so much energy in Kansas City. And that's what, to me, is so very exciting about our opportunities here. I think public transit plays a huge role in, um, in equality in, in the United States, especially here in Kansas City where uh, a lot of our north-south connectors have been, um, you know, uh, invested in, but we, we need to work on our east-west connectors. And so when we think about our uh, public transit systems, it's not just um, buses and streetcars and, and ways to get around. Really, it's the American dream that um, everyone was promised uh, when they uh, set foot on this on this land. The ability to be mobile is the ability to have freedom. Freedom to move around, freedom to access and to reach for things that you have to get to. So public transit is integral to all of those opportunities and the more that we can use public transit to support people's autonomy and their freedom to really chase their dreams or to support their family or to be where they need to be and go where they need to go that does so much and has way more of an effect than we really realize. Connections to Ride KC, bus services and bike share. <laughs> this next song is called Make You Sing. Um, it's for anyone who has a story, man. One of them stories where you hear it and you just got to react to it. Um, features Love May See. You got Kadesh Flow in the back going to add some trombone to it. Hope you like it. Yeah, I'm from a flyover city where we fly out to cities, kill them, new black city. Yeah, you know I got my people with me. Tess got us with them, and we all registered. We just trying to protect ourselves, officer. Take these handcuffs off of us. This my ghetto opera, theme song for the slums. Did it for the culture, vultures, bet not ever come for us. Look at all the kids we talk. If I die today, they won't forget it all. Haters, I forgive them all. Never be the same, no. That's just how I made, though. Cut from the cock of the North Side. I ride a gang, bro. You ain't never post these spots. We ain't the same, bro. I used to post at every store, trying to get my CD off, trying to get my name out there. Now we booked in other cities. Look how far we came out here. Look how far I made it, man. People said I wouldn't make it. God said otherwise. These rap real make us different from them other guys. Yeah. I know my mama. Yeah. Pray for me. Cause I, cause I escape life. Everything, my story. My story crazy, man. 
We'll make you It'll sing. It'll make you want to sing. Make you sing. Yeah. Make you sing. Verse 2. Make Listen, you look. I said, my mama used to sing me. This to the light of mine. She said, baby, you a star. I said, mama, I'm a shine. Won't forget about my people. Five, six, seven till I die. Uh, them Northside Riders. We raised till all through Wanda. We had crack pills, weed and powder. Changed my life with a whole new product. Got a couple partners. Some got bodies. Some keep getting locked up. Shootouts. I could have got shot up. Pulled over with a sawed up. But the cops found not to act stack, same line, all facts, I ain't trying, I don't make these songs for nothing, trying to put on for the youth, I hope they don't want for nothing, I still got a long way to go if I'm missing, I've been focused on my mission, making changes, getting riches, I got girls, I gotta get it, do some politicking, still the same, but gotta pivot, still the same, but gotta pivot, wait until the date, I'll probably be surprised I did it, but we beat the grave in prison, so we already winning, yo, yo, I know my mama, yeah. Pray for me. Cause I, Cause I, Cause I, Cause I escape I. like everything. My story. You got a story like mine, man. Can make you sing. You sing make right you sing. Ha. Make you sing. Yeah. Make Good you dish, let's go. You know, I'm hopeful that uh, that we can be a, a great example of how uh, public transit could be a way to uh, bring not only um, you know a access to jobs and wealth creation, but uh, access to culture and other parts of our city that you probably wouldn't have navigated if we didn't have it. What I like about the streetcars is that I can you know be a role model for little kids, even grown adults. Uh, they look at the job like it's so fun, and truthfully, it is a fun job to have. So. If I can be a positive impact on people's lives, I love it. Next stop, City Market. This poem is a protest, breathes in the face of evil, slow and deliberate, mimicking centuries of mistreatment. This poem will not be rushed, will carry adequate breath, reclaims our breath because they've tried to take it. Our blood in the soil is domestic violence, breathing an act of defiance, chest rising, marches of revolt against extermination. I can breathe. My lungs are battlefield. Breathing is war crime. Wind emits flared nostril trenches. Oxygen adds fuel to fire. Body is weapon. Sustain breath artillery. Inhale combustible. Exhale mushroom cloud. Which is to say, I embody the spirit of Tina. Warrior, overcomer, belt a chance of strength, praise and spite, empower the lung. I can breathe, will breathe, I can breathe, will breathe, I can breathe, will breathe. Clutching breath with an NRA-like grip. My existence, an unwavering assault aimed at the racist psyche, evidence of great granddaddy's atrocities and current complacency. Proof your family ain't all good people. Bloodline evil, accuracy in my caramel hue. We will not just forget about it. We'll not just move on. We'll not lock arms and march, pray and smile until our ills are gone. Allyship ain't atonement when you accomplish this breath is recompense. This revolution is circular, as in full circle, as in karma, as in retribution, as in reckoning, which is to say what goes around comes around. This justice is reminder. It is standing here, sitting here, breathing here, living here, staying here. And as long as I got breath in my body, me and everything that look like me gonna breathe. Thanks everybody for still watching.
Once again, we are New Black City featuring Kadesh Flow. Special thanks to the KC Streetcar. We are here celebrating black culture. This is our last song. It's called Alive. We hope you like it. <laughs> Riding to this music got me feeling right Trying to hit the stage, not this nine to five Don't waste my time on some suckers Cause now I'm feeling free and I'm loving it I feel so alive, I feel so alive 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 Trusting my instincts Trying to get these six rings, manifesting big things, yeah. On the stage, I'm popping, Khalees steady bossing. In the middle of the map, I'm rocking, yeah. yeah. Uh. We don't get by on no shuck and jive. We gon' take gambles and roll the dice. We get in whips and get overdrive. We get on stage and then catch a vibe. Now I don't know if I'll be popular, but I can see it through my ocular. Got a vision from my ancestors. I think now I understand better. This one is not for the faint of the heart. I just hope you've been eating your weeds. Uh, you got to watch for them snakes in the grass. They pay tricks on your mind like Houdini. Uh, I've been traveling with the team. Hey, we've been popping on the scene. Yeah, we really got a thing. And we ain't running out of steam. Play this song through your Wi-Fi. There's another dub, give a high five. This one gotta take you high. I be feeling so alive. Until we feel like we've arrived. We'll be busy on the grind. So we don't got a lot of spare time. We busy trying to shift the paradigm. Right into yeah. this music, got me feeling right. Trying to hit the stage, not this nine to five. Don't waste my time on some sucker shit. Cause now I'm feeling free and I'm loving it I feel so alive, I feel so alive 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 Listen, look, I'm telling suckers to give me my space I do my job, getting the stage A nine to five, or getting away So I be out of town, always on the grind Killing myself, minimum pay Unhappy, digging my grave Do what you love or it's gonna pay Now I be out of town, always on the grind Hit the road, state to state Yeah, I'm feeling great, yeah Festival season, I'm on my way Yeah, I came a long way, yeah Check us out now, cause in even you We hit, we make the crowd go wild I'm alive like I want now So I, I'll never come down Oh my Oh my. Look, I promise we gon' never come down from my destiny. I never run now. Doing numbers, we the ones now. Live it up until the sun's down. Everybody, put your hands up. If you feel alive like we feel alive, go ahead and put them hands up. Let's right go. Right into this music, got yeah. me feeling right. Let's go, let's Tryna go. Trying to hit the stage, not this nine to five. Don't waste my time on some sucker shit. Cause now I'm feeling free and I'm loving it. I feel so alive, I feel so alive. Alive. I feel so alive, I feel so alive. Alive. I feel so alive, I feel so alive. Feel so good to be alive. I feel so alive, I feel so alive. Trying to hit the stage, not this nine to five. Don't waste my time on some sucker shh. Cause now I'm feeling free and I'm loving it. I feel so alive, I feel so alive. alive. I feel so alive, I feel so alive. Feel so good to be alive, I right? feel so alive, I feel so alive. alive. I feel so alive, I feel so alive. Yep, 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 yep. Did that work out, bro? Check! We are approaching Union Station. Southern trees Barren strange fruit Blood on the leaves Blood at the root Black bodies swinging in the southern breeze Oh, strange fruit hanging 
from the poplar tree Pastoral sea of the gallant south Them big bulging eyes And the twisted mouth Send up magnolia So thank you for tuning in and watching us celebrate the rich history of not only black history, our history collectively here in Kansas City. Thank you to the streetcar for continuing to preserve the rich history of our city and our community, a town we call home, Kansas City. Everything yeah. gonna be alright. Got my bus pass, been a ride first class street car downtown with a fine ladies in the peeps are OG said, Don't hurt nobody. Looking this damn clean, got my fit on gleam, oh yeah. Don't hurt nobody. Uh, and I'm with my team, all the sisters feel like boy go ahead. Don't hurt nobody. Getting hot in here, wipe the sweat off of my phone.